Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Here we are Thursday, and uh, day started off great. Welcome back to Morning Musings. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. We are involved in a study of the book of Zechariah, the, uh, the not-so-minor minor, minor prophet. And in Zechariah chapter 3, the Lord predicted the coming of the branch. And Joshua, the high priest at the time that Zechariah was written, was to be a sign of the coming of the branch. Now, a sign never indicates itself. It always indicates something else. But anyway, pardon me. In our thematic study of the book of Zechariah, the study of the branch is very, very significant because there had been other predictions, prior predictions of the coming of the branch that are now being picked up in the book of Zechariah. One of those passages we commented in our last segment is Isaiah chapter 11, in which it said, there shall come forth a root or a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow up out of his roots. Well, we've already seen that in the day of the coming of the branch, <clears throat> in that day, the earth would be full of the knowledge of the Lord. We, we saw how Jesus predicted that very thing for his generation and how it is fulfilled. Don't forget, I've written a book, Into All the World, Then Comes the End, discussing how the Great Commission was full, fulfilled in the first century. Now take a look. In that day, in the day in which the earth would be full of the knowledge of the Lord, in that day there shall be a root of Jesse who shall stand as a banner for the people for the Gentiles shall seek him, and his resting place shall be glorious. So, in the day of the branch, obviously this is not talking about a single 24-hour day. In the day of the branch, the Gentiles would be called. The nations would be called to the Lord. Now, I want you to notice that also in that day, the wolf would lay down with the lamb. So the day of the wolf lying down with the lamb, Isaiah chapter 11, 7 and following, is the day when the ensign would be raised. The ensign is the branch. Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. Remember, in the day of the branch, the Gentiles would be called because the ensign would be set up not only for the regathering of Israel, Israel that was scattered abroad, but in that day the nations would be called. Guess what? Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, in Romans chapter 15, writes to the church at Rome comprised of Jew and Gentile, and he speaks of Isaiah chapter 11. He quotes Isaiah chapter 11 verbatim. Now remember, in the day when the branch would come, the wolf would lie down with the lamb. Okay? That would be when the ensign, i.e. the branch, would be called. And in the day of the branch, the lion, or excuse me, the wolf will lay down with the lamb. The Gentiles would be called in that day. This is the time of the restoration of Israel. Paul, speaking of the conversion of the Gentiles through his ministry, says in verse 7 and following of Romans 15, Therefore receive one another. One another who? Jew, Gentile. Just as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Christ, Jesus Christ, has become a servant to the circumcision for the truth of God to, the, uh, to, con to confirm the promises made to the fathers and that Christ became a servant to Israel to confirm the promises, and that the Gentiles 
might glorify God for his mercy as it is written. Then in verse 12, he quotes Isaiah chapter 11. Do you catch the power of that? In the day of the branch, foretold by Zechariah 3, verse 8, in the day of the branch, when the ensign would be raised, in the day of the branch, when the wolf and the lamb would lie down together, the Gentiles would be saved as well as the circumcision. And Paul says, Christ confirmed the promises to Israel, and now in Christ, the Gentiles were being saved, and he quotes Isaiah chapter 11. You know what that tells us? It tells us the time of the branch was present, the time of the restoration of Israel was present, because the time of the salvation of Israel, the restoration of Israel, would be the time when the wolf would lie down with the lamb and the Gentiles would be saved. You see, in that day ties the wolf lying down with the lamb, and in that day is when the branch would come and the Gentiles would be brought to him when Israel was restored. That was being accomplished in the first century. That's not something in the future. Paul said it was present in his ministry. Therefore, the coming of the branch of Zechariah chapter 3 was being fulfilled. The calling of the Gentiles was being fulfilled, but the calling of the Gentiles was absolutely inextricably related to the restoration of the tribes of Israel. So you see, Israel was being restored through the branch in the first century, in Christ and in His body. Boy, great stuff. This means we're not looking for the restoration of Israel. It's been accomplished in Christ, in the branch. Hey, thanks for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Don't forget, get yourself a copy of this book, Into All the World, Then Comes the End. Go to my website, eschatology.org, BibleProphecy.com. Order the book. Mention that you saw it on YouTube or Facebook. You'll not be charged shipping, or I'll refund your shipping. Look, you have a great, great weekend. God bless. We'll see you on Monday, Lord willing.